My name is Michael Martinez. My name is Matt Haywood. I'm an application engineer at Fox. I'm the ride engineer in the aftermarket division of El Cajon. And we're out here tuning the Tundra 3.0 factory race series aftermarket kit. We got our truck equipped with our Fox 3-inch internal bypass kit, which comes with DSCs and fin reservoirs. We've also got the truck outfitted with upper control arms and big 35-inch tires. The model year 22 Tundra comes with a new 5-link rear suspension and increased frame rigidity. This allows us to get better increase in force out of the shock, which has uh, better capacity off-road while still maintaining on-road ride comfort versus something like a leaf spring truck. We're going to be driving it through a bunch of dirt today, a bunch of different terrain. We're looking for anything from whoops to jumps to hard pack to square edge inputs, really trying to exercise all of the different surfaces that a customer might see. We're going to be looking for harshness, um, shake, and uh, really make a better compromise in the stock kit as far as getting better off-road capacity, but also still maintaining a really nice on-road ride feel. Yesterday out in the dirt, we got a really good feel for what the truck wants to be able to do. Um, we got some areas that we definitely want to improve on the truck. For example, going through those whoops, you could see the front end was kind of soaking it up, staying pretty planted. The rear end was kind of kicking around a little bit. So that's one of the things we're gonna address in the tune change today. To create a well-balanced vehicle on and off-road, uh, you have to have a little bit of uh, finesse and consideration for the daily driver. So you gotta make sure to cover all of the surfaces with every tune that you're doing. So that does include going down the freeway, going up parking lots, um, driving around town, as well as keeping pace out in the desert. The calculations themselves really are just a starting point, but at the end of the day, we rely very heavily on the driver feedback um, in order to make the vehicle more balanced because the calculations are really only there to get you part of the way. Um, once you get a fairly reasonable tune, um, then you are no longer relying on the calculations. Um, you're more so looking at the data to get your numbers. So you're, you're driving along in the vehicle and staring over at the laptop screen, seeing the, the lines move up and down on the screen, seeing how the front and the rear lines are moving in relation to each other, and then also how fast they're moving, and that's, and that's more or less where we get the numbers from behind our tunes after we do the calculations. Here after our last tune change. The rear of the truck seems really planted, but the front kind of is lazy and dips down a lot, uh, really gets too deep in the stroke. So now we're gonna do the same thing, adjust the compression adjusters to try to compensate for it. This is a performance oriented kit, so we chose to use a 35 inch tire instead of something like a 37, because with the 37, you've got that larger tire diameter, which means it's gonna crash into the fender sooner. So to alleviate that, you would need to add something like a bump stop spacer. Now, performance oriented kit, we wanna use all the travel that we possibly can out of the suspension. So by sticking with a 35 inch tire, we can keep using the stock bump stop on the truck and not risk crashing a tire into our fender or any other suspension components. The 
3.0 internal bypass kits are the best in the market. They have compression and rebound control, both in the top and the bottom out zone. So when you go through compression event, let's say a jump or a whoop or something, I mean, you have a lot of rebound control in the bottom out zone. So when you come out of the whoop, you're coming out flat and you're able to be ready for the next obstacle. Not a lot of technologies out there allow for compression and rebound, fully isolated control in both top out and bottom out conditions.